Jonah? Jonah, come in, please. He's not gonna answer, Lara. What? He's dead. Now you can add your friend Jonah to the list of people you've gotten killed. Fuck you, Rock. If you want to pick up his body, it's at the refinery. I'm coming for you.
Acá. Making everything worse. <laughs> you're not. Hey, you're not. We can do this. <sighs> Come on. Where to next? Can't stay here. I don't know, Jonah! <laughs> What was that clue? Uh, the heart of the serpent, something... The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. And what kind of cup are we talking about? Some kind of chalice? A chalice that's not very mine. Wait. It's not mine. The clue was left by a 17th century missionary, Andrea Lopez, a Jesuit. The serpent in the chalice is a symbol of St. John. We're looking for a Christian holy site. Like a church of San Juan? That's a pretty common name. Could be dozens. Not within trekking distance from Paititi. Come on, the road is this way. We'll get out of here and talk to some people. Okay. What would I do without you? Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. You want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Since we were kids. She was the nerd, I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Once in a while, I could convince Sara to come with me. Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. 
Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please, continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but... Neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret creep hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward, and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I could never forgive myself. All right. You stay here, so if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. Laura, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm... I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once, drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? I'm sure you will be satisfied. Pleasure doing business with you, friend. Be careful if you go out to the graveyard, miss. A witch lives there. 
She likes to turn people into frogs. I'll be sure to watch myself. One lady upset the witch, and then the witch made her disappear. So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the sector. A heron and an eclipse. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. I don't have enough space for that. I don't have enough space for that. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. light the end of days. años. Un paso a la vez. Un día a la vez. Como si tuviéramos elección. This cross, it looks like it's from the 17th century.
And under his wings you may seek refuge. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. There's a whole mural under here. Cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross line around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from Dominguez? We'll find a way. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. <laughs> a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Two. Jesus falls the first time. There's an inscription here. Ambulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you have the light. somewhere. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station 3. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost. Hey, it worked! The light leads this way. <sighs> this must be Station 4. 
Let's have a look at these frescoes. Is that what I think it is? The stations of the cross again. But with mummies, isn't this sacrilegious? Not necessarily. They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be station six. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh-huh. Staged the whole crucifixion with mummies. Seems sacrilegious. I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is the sect from the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. wall him in and then bang no witnesses hands of the righteous one may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. He led us 
us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. He was totally consumed by it. Where is she? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Release him, and I will give you the box. Laura, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. <laughs> I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend, but he was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to Paititi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? Oh, come on. You can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. 
You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara? How many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Lara! Go! Stop him! past just now? Yeah. Think we should call him? Hell no. If there's any change in our status, he'll tell us. Back to Ken and it's all over. That Rourke? Running past just now? Yeah. Think we should call him? Hell no. If there's any change in our status, he'll tell us. I hope I get to see it when they take it out of here. But, sir, we're hearing disruption to our northwest. The situation is being handled. Oh, I good. say again, keep this channel Sorry, clear. Rourke out. Uh, nothing. Too bad. her alone in the church. It was chaos in there, obviously. But this is Croft. There was something more important to worry about. 